Hi everyone, today I'm going to be doing the Seven Deadly Sins tag. I'm going to kind of combine the fashion one and the makeup one all into one. Oh, this button is really annoying me, it's just fallen off so I'm going to have to sew that soon. Anyways, um, so yeah, I'm going to combine it all into one instead of doing two separate videos. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to get on with it. Um, so my most inexpensive clothes item is probably just um, t-shirts or vests that look like this. They're about £2 or something like that. And my probably most inexpensive makeup item is my natural collection powder that I use every day. Um, I think that is one ninety nine from Boots so yeah, really cheap. Um, so yeah, and my most expensive fashion item is probably, well I have two, um, one is probably my Jack Wills body warmer, which is the pink one, and the fairy hood, and I can't remember how much this was, I got it absolutely ages ago, but I think they are £98, which is, it's just ridiculous, um, so yeah, that's probably my most expensive clothes item. But then I got this dress the other week as well, which you may have seen on my Instagram. If not, I'll leave the link below to it. And it is this dress, which was from, a, can't get my words out, <laughs> a website called Quantum. And that was £60. But I do absolutely love it. And yeah, so that's the greed question. Which do I have a love-hate relationship with? Um, with my makeup, it has to be lip gloss. I cannot stand wearing lip gloss. It looks so nice on other people. I'm going to sit back because I look bald because my hair doesn't fit in the camera. Um, I can't stand wearing lip gloss. I just really do not like it, don't like the feel of it on my lips or anything, I don't really know why but I think it looks really nice on other people when they've got kind of really nice glossy lips um, so yeah that's kind of my love hate with makeup and then my love hate with fashion are these jeans which are just the black and white stripy jeans that everyone has these days I just, I absolutely love them but I never ever know what to wear them with like I really don't know what to wear them with. I mean, you could just wear a plain vest top or something, but then I feel like it looks really boring. I don't know. It just, yeah, really hard to find something to wear with these. So that'd be my love hate with clothes. I feel like this is a really stupid question, um, but I'm gonna say my collection 2000 cream puff. Um, lip moisturising matte cream thingy <laughs> it's the right mouthful um, but I'm going to say this because of the smell of it it's just absolutely beautiful oh, it's so nice to smell like um, I don't know what does it smell like I don't know it's because it smells like vanilla or something they smell really really nice and I've just realised I haven't shown my most expensive makeup item so I'll quickly do that now Um it's either my MAC lipsticks, which are not really expensive for something in a makeup collection, but they are like one of my most expensive things in my makeup collection, or my Urban Decay Naked palette. Now I got sent this a while ago, but if I was to buy it, it would have been the most expensive thing in my makeup collection. Um, but yeah, anyway, back to this question. Um, in fashion, my most delicious item would be... Um, these shoes which I am just in love with ah, they're from eBay so I'll leave the link below if you want to find her if that makes sense um, so yeah they're just like multicolour glitter wedges and they've got like this that goes around your ankle and they were only 20 quid as well which I think is a bargain for shoes so yeah So the makeup product that I um, neglect due to laziness 
is primer. I can just never ever be bothered priming on a morning. I don't really know why because it'll literally take me like two seconds but I just cannot be bothered doing it. Um, and the thing I neglect in fashion is probably heels. So I just picked these ones out which again are a beautiful pair of heels and I'll leave the link to her website below where I got them from. Um, but yeah, I neglect heels. I never ever wear them because I just feel stupid. If I go out, like on a night out, I'll always wear wedges. I won't wear heels because they just absolutely kill my feet and I can't really walk in them, but I can walk in wedges. I don't know why. Um, but yeah, so I always neglect my heels, which is not good. So what gives me the most confidence? My collar is wonky and it is really annoying me. I think that's right. <laughs> With makeup, this is a really, really hard one because I can't pick one item of makeup that gives me confidence. It has to be the whole of my makeup that I'll wear every day, kind of my foundation, my mascara, my eyeliner and my eyebrows. <laughs> they would probably give me the most confidence out of everything. There's no way I would walk out of the house with any of that on and I know that sounds like really shallow and stupid but yeah I just couldn't and again what gives me the most confidence in fashion is probably heels but like I said I never wear them so wedges and um, when I go out and you just like put a massive pair of heels on or these ones whichever you prefer and <laughs> um, I just feel like they give you so much confidence and you just make your outfit look so much better than if you're gonna go out and wear flat shoes I just I don't know. I just I just feel like they give you loads of confidence, but I hardly ever wear them, so <laughs> unless I go out. The next question that I skipped because I just thought it was really, really stupid and like unnecessary because I don't think it was something like what is the your favourite attributes in the opposite gender, whatever the word is. <laughs> Um, but I just feel like that's a really stupid question because it's got nothing to do with fashion or makeup so I just thought I'd skip that. Um, so the next one is what would I like to receive as a gift? As makeup, I, I don't really know, I'd probably say um, MAC makeup just because I don't have a lot of it because it's too expensive or just any expensive makeup in general I'd like to receive it because I just can't. I, don't, I feel like I can't justify spending like £30 on like a foundation like the Nars Sheer Glow one. I would never ever spend that on a foundation. So I, it's always nice to receive things as gifts. <laughs> and for fashion, I'd probably say another one of these dresses. Um, so yeah, I'll, go, I'll leave their link below to their website as well. So you can go check their dresses out. But they are really expensive. They're all, I think they're all like £60. And I just can't be like affording paying 60 quid for a dress at a time. Um, so yeah, I'd love to like receive another one of these as a gift. Because I like them. So that is the tag done, I think. Yes, it is. Um, so yeah, if you've done this video or you want to do this video, leave it as a video response below and I will approve it. Um... So yeah, please remember to subscribe if you haven't already. I'm just going to mention what's on my nails because I think I'll get questions about this. Um, the purple is the Nina Pro Ultra one from Sally's that I get quite a lot. And the glitter one on top is Models on a Beefer Mix. So yes. And my play suit is from... Let me just stand up a little bit. It's from Primark and I need to sew this button back on because I'm really annoyed. Um, yeah, I think that is everything. And I'm sorry, again, I haven't made a video for ages. I keep saying this, but I am sorry. I've been really, really busy this week. And yes. So please leave your video requests below as usual. And I hope you enjoyed this one. And all the links will be in the down bar. If you need them, I just caught my nail. <laughs> so yeah, I'll see you all in my next video, everyone. Bye.